with the Assassin's Creed movie trailer that dropped and looks surprisingly true to the games, and also with the news of Nintendo entering the film market possibly, could this break the trend of video game movies transitioning to film and being horrendous? Well, let's break down the history of video game movies and possibly the future and see what's what. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a Persian. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the Boss Battle Show. We are your hosts, Timmy TJ Combo, Adam Rona, and today we want to talk to you about well, video game movies. Yep, and slightly comic book movies and, and how they stand, all tie in together. And just kind of, you know, the the act of movies being made off of franchises that we love. That's right. That we're invested in. Yeah. Um, first, we want to say that video game movies have, by and large, been terrible almost throughout mm -hmm. history. What's your, what's your favorite bad uh, video game movie? My favorite bad one? Yeah. Because, I mean, they're all good in their own way because they're so shitty. I do remember when I was a kid, I did get, like, this crazy bootleg copy of Super Mario Brothers. Oh, um, yeah. And I was so excited. <laughs> I was like, I watched it, like, a thousand times. And I was it's like, great. I was like, I don't, how does this tie into the game? I don't get it. It doesn't. Yeah. I think, actually, that's the one and only video game movie that completely bypasses source material. It's, like, the definitive what not to do. And actually... I want to say that that's probably the first video game tie-in movie, wouldn't you say? Like, there were video game movies before that were like Tron and stuff, but those weren't games beforehand. Exactly, right, yeah. This was actually taking like a current source material and then creating something out of it. Yeah. Um, and of course that trend just continued because for some reason there was some media success. So it was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Because they didn't do anything right. But they're like, let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. So we saw things like Hitman and Mac Payne and Prince of Persia. Mortal and Kombat. Mortal Kombat. And Street, Street Fighter. Fighter yeah. Oh, Raul Julia. Yeah. Rest Come on now. Like, yeah. Right? Dennis Hopper is Koopa. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it looked like he had cornrows. So why are these movies bad? I'll tell you why. Let me inform you. Tell me. I will give you $60 for this video game. I will play this video game for the next 100 hours. I will learn every bit of lore that I possibly can just to watch you guys create a movie where you throw it all out the window. Exactly. And it's like, why? You guys had this a great story like laid out in front of you by a team of writers. And they're like, no, that doesn't work. Yeah. Can't and do, we can't do that. And I want to say, because Mortal Kombat came out in 93. This was right when, or maybe, no, it was 95, I'm sorry, right when Men K3 was coming out. Mm -hmm. And this was probably, at the time, the most successful video game movie because it wasn't Super bad. It's cheesy and it's it's, but it's kind of true to the source material. Like that was Shang Tsung yeah. is a tournament on an island. Yeah. Goro's there with actual forearms. And it was the characters that you knew and yeah. stuff. They didn't try and like insert and, new. And it did really well. Um, and it was actually a financial success. And I actually personally really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and then they came out with Mortal Kombat Two, Armageddon. <laughs> no, uh, Annihilation. Annihilation. Yeah. 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 That's actually one of the worst movies of all time, in my opinion. <laughs> and probably everybody else's, too. It's not that good. Yeah, and you, Tim's totally right. So you are so invested in these characters and these lores and everything, and then the Hollywood just kind of poops on it. But then, comic book movies kind of started to come on the scene with uh, X-Men, and things kind of started to change when everyone started looking at source material. When quote-unquote geek movies were considered laughable by the film industry, things started to change when Hollywood decided to put their feelers out with the very first X-Men movie and kind of see how geeks would react to a comic book movie that was more along the lines of their actual comic book counterparts. Flash forward 16 years and comic book movies are on top of the game in Hollywood. Movies like Deadpool and The Avengers and the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, coupled with DC's up-and-coming Cinematic Universe comic book movies have never been hotter, and they are generally sticking to the beloved source material. Which just begs the question how long until wonderfully crafted video game inspired movies will be on the scene? Or will the wretched curse of the horrible video game movie reign true forever? So. Assassin's Creed trailer, and we've known this has been a movie that's been in production for a while with Michael Fassbender. Uh, the trailer just launched last week, and we've had some time to digest it, and so now it's kind of... So I was initially, I was like, this actually looks really sweet because it looks true to the source material, although mm -hmm. it's uh, not particularly... Like, it takes place in the Spanish Inquisition. Assassin's Creed's never done that. Mm -hmm. Michael Fassbender's not Spanish. 
Um, but that was a brilliant idea because obviously they can go to a place that fits with the, the storyline, right, of the right. canon of Assassin's Creed, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a very specific example from prior games. Right. That's good. That gives them flexibility. That's a smart way to approach that. Um, however, I have concerns with it after I watch the trailer. Yeah, so when I first watched it, I was like, this looks great. It looks like the video game come to life, minus Kanye West or whatever, whoever that was. Yeah. And then Tim watched it, and we kind of, he kind of brought some points to me, and I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. So, yeah. so this is how I approached it. I finished watching it, and the very first thing I did is I went to the old interwebs, and I pulled up the Prince of Persia trailer. This is true. And I played it, and I was like, watch. And when you watch that trailer, you're like, that movie looks pretty awesome. It does. And it's got all the same elements. It's got like the really cool CGI effects happening. It's got the cool practical effects of you know people getting lifted in the air and doing flips off of buildings and all kinds of like cool combat things. And you're like, oh, this is awesome, right? And the sands of time yep. being canon to the games. Exactly. Which so were great. Like, if you watch that trailer for Prince of Persia, we have the ability with hindsight to look back and go, that movie was a flop. It was, it was a flop. Awful. It set video game movies back even further because now people don't want to fund them because they're like, yeah, you guys, I gave you a ton of money for that one and look what you gave us. So this has that same potential. You look at the trailer and you're like, man, they're almost side by side, the exact same shot. It's true. Uh, and when we kind of compare the trailers, it does look like it's the same kind of movie. And so mm -hmm. that makes me scared. So when Assassin's Creed comes out, is that going to be bad, and will that set back video game movies for some time? Right. Now, they are both getting great actors, like if we were to compare the two, right? Yeah, Jake I mean, Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, he's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, Michael Fassbender, he's been fantastic in everything he's done. 300. Magneto. I'm pretty sure he's like a no-handed golfer, if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. uh, but he's you're still winner. You're putting a lot of money into the main actor, right? You're putting a lot of money into the trailer. Is that just to try and get a few people in the door? make a little bit of money and then they just call it a day. I think that they most certainly were like, look, it's got everything you love from the video games. And then yep. we're all, you and I are gonna be like, okay, let's go check it there's out. There's hoods, there's swords, there's Fassbender. You're yeah. like, what? Yeah. yeah, and then we're gonna get there and it's gonna be a bummer. Yeah. And uh, you know, and that's happening more and more often. And actually video game movies have fallen off. Of course, just recently, like Jack and Dexter just came out in the mm -hmm. theaters and that was an animated movie, but was received poorly, even though it was almost identical to the source material. Yep. It, I just don't see that they're, is a way to do video game movies correctly right now. And so they've also started, well, let's try the web format. Like Mortal Kombat had a web series, Street Fighter had a web series. Both were not super great. And I'm not sure who those actually speak to, right? You could be like, oh, you know, you're like a hardcore fan of Mortal Kombat or you're a hardcore fan of Street Fighter. And I don't watch them. I don't enjoy them. They just look like real bad student films. Mega cheesy. And yeah. actually, and I know somebody is gonna be like, "You so wrong. That one was awesome. With more comedy, I keep." I'm like, I don't, I don't give a shit. They are awful. <laughs> you know, like you watch them, and they really are. They're they're poorly lit. The acting is like down oh, there. Yeah. Well, and you know, I hate to keep beating on the MK horse here, but they actually and they filmed. They did a, a third season of MK Legacy that was supposed to come out with um, Mortal Kombat X that actually has yet to be released and there's been some behind the scenes pictures that show uh, Ray Park as uh, Aaron Black mm -hmm. and uh, they showed Scorpion in his suit and they look like just super bad cosplay. Like yeah. super bad cosplay. It's just you can't nail it. It's just so hard to nail them. And that's the worst part because you have a guy like Ray Park and you're like, I want to see him kick somebody's butt. That's but that, awesome. I, would, I would not have cast him as, Ray, uh, as Aaron Black, the guy who just shoots people. <laughs> He's going to do all kinds of things. Nope, never mind. Boom. Yeah, Call right? it a day. So we've been kind of thinking what would make a good video game movie if done properly. And we've kind of come up with a couple ideas. Mm -hmm. And Tim has a good idea. So my first one is The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Now, there's one there's one big element to this, and that is you can't deviate from the story that was already written. Absolutely. Because it was so great. Um, they do also have some DLC that they could use in flashbacks and, and create some additional content to go with it because the DLC was phenomenal for that game. Um, but again, we're talking about really high quality voice actors it's going to be tough to fill those shoes. So, like, who would you even want to play a character like Joel who would make you happy with that? Josh Brolin, I think, would make a sweet Joel. All right, yeah, because he always grows like that really... Like, and he's, that he's got manly really... ...manly-ass beard, yeah. Yeah, and he's, you know, I think he would make a great Joel. But what about you? I think that they should <clears throat> do over... I got two things. They should do over Super Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. but as a completely animated feature like they just did with Jack and Dexter, 110% true to the source material, Mushroom Kingdom, Mario, Luigi, Peach, as they are, yep. and just a fun adventure movie that would be kind of aimed towards kids, but okay. with throwbacks to... I would definitely be on board with uh, that, because it could also help explain some of the story that doesn't necessarily exist through some of the early games. Right. right. The early games is like, oh, I'm just going to go save the princess, tell them some things. 
they could give some backstory to that to the people who don't know. Because if you look at Big Smash Ralph or whatever. Um, Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. Big Smash Ralph. Big Smash Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. Smash It. Wreck It Ralph had, was an animated movie about video games and it had a lot of references to fun characters. If they did a Super Mario Brothers movie in that vein with top notch voice actors yep. animated and had throwbacks to all kinds of stuff that everyone like you and I could be like, oh snap. Yep. I think it would do really well. All the little Easter eggs the whole way through. And I'd be like, look at that one. Yep. Yeah. And there's been talk that there is going to be a Legend of Zelda Netflix series, um, which mm -hmm. if that happens, I, you never, you'll never see me again. Right, and of course my fear with that is that it looks almost too real. Like they do a Netflix series and it's like literally like the weird cosplay looking guy, you know, as Link, just wearing like a green cut off shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just running around like whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, but the potential for that because the lore for Legend of Zelda is just out of control. So I Absolutely. think the only way that they could do that would be a series. And I think that there's no better way to do it than Netflix. I think that would be really sweet. I'm just hoping that that's a true rumor. Who could say? But what about you? What are your take on video game movies and what movies do you think would transition well into film? Yeah, which one do you hate the most and which one do you want to see? That's what I want to know. That because is what I want to know. That's the thing, like as fans, if this all of a sudden goes crazy and everybody is like, oh, I can't believe that game is the one I wanted to see as well, then those are the things that get made. That's right, so, that's right. So go ahead and leave those in the comments. They're down there. They're way, like way down there. Oh, look at these Twitters. They're... Look at that sub. Scribble. <laughs> All these things you should just touch, interact with. Look at this heaven moving. Look at this Timmy combo. Smell that Gordy. If you sniff hard enough, you can smell Gordy from wherever you are. You gotta scratch the screen. Tell him what's up, Gordy. Tell him what's up. Yo. Ooh.